hello guys in my previous video i have shown you how to create database in my sql today i am going to show you how to get connection to our database first of all create new project in netbeans java java application next I am going to give a project name as student info and click finish. As you can see here we have created a new project called student info. There are no packages, there is a default package. I am going to create a new package in default package and naming it as my main or I will give it main application folder that is package okay right in this I am going to create a new class Java class and I'm going to name it as my SQL connect click finish you can see here we have, we have created a new class called my SQL connect and you can delete all these comments which are in gray these are only comments okay now you have to import <coughs> certain things sorry import certain things first of all import java dot sql dot star next import java x dot swing dot star you have to import these two things now let us start our coding connection con is equal to null now let us create a method in this class public class sorry public static connection to connect db in this open and close parenthesis let us give try and catch statement ok Catch exception E whenever error is there in our program, it displaces uh, sorry, it uh, shows a message J option pain dot show message dialog null e in try case in try statement we are going to create class dot for name connection dot con dot my sql dot jd DC driver we are going to import driver driver okay next uh, connection con we are going declaring a variable con driver manager dot get connection
here you are going to write JDBC JDBC colon MySQL colon two forward slashes since we are saving our database on localhost we have to give the path localhost where we have saved our data we have saved our uh, database in uh, see here we have saved our database as student databases here. okay see here yesterday we have created this database student so we have to give localhost and our database name as student so and we are going to give database name student let me check it out okay small student or I am copying this Control C. And I'm going to paste you. Control V. Student. Comma. Next, uh, we have to specify our username password for our PHP My Admin login. Username was root. Yesterday I have shown you password is also root ok for practice purpose I have given like that now we have once again I will show you connection con driver manager dot get connection this is our driver we have downloaded we are going to download next here see jdbc mysql localhost student is our database ok student is our database and uh, this is username and password ok uh, right now username and password we have given right next uh, we have to type here return con return con next uh, catch exception we are given under this catch exception we are going to give return null I have made some mistake here in this line I am going to copy this some spelling mistake control C in place of this I am going to give student right so this is this way we are going to get connection to our database mysql ok once again I am going to tell you see first of all we have created new project student info in it in this new project we have created a new package in this package we have created a java class called my sql connect java and we have imported two important libraries java.sql and java.swing public class my sql connect now and uh, connection con is equal to null public static connection connect db try catch statement in between try catch we are uh, writing our code class dot for name con dot mysql dot jdbc driver connection con connection con is equal to con is a variable driver manager dot get connection jdbc mysql localhost this is our path 
to our database this is username of our php my admin and password of php my admin okay return con catch in case of error it displays a, uh, displays a message okay error message what type of error it is and return null so hope you guys you have followed this um, easily and uh, i will in my next video i will show you how to create a login form from where we can access to our database okay uh, in next next video let us meet in next video so till then have a nice time visit hpro.org subscribe and comment thanks for watching have a nice time